Hi, we're here with one of Atlanta's own, the one and only, Miss Shirley Diamond. How about it, Shirley Diamond? Well, hello, everyone in all the world, because that's where we're going. Miss Diamond, I'd like to know what uh, started you performing. My mom. I used to watch my mom cry, of course. That's where the song came from, Are You Setting Me Up? People been set up for a hundred years. So my mom used to sing Aretha Franklin, Gladys Knight, Ray Charles, Otis Redding, and just be kaboohooing on the weekend. I was like, I know how I'm gonna help my mom. I'm gonna sing for her. And that's how I, how I started, right there in my mom's living room. So what make uh, Shirley Diamond a perfect vocal? Perfect, perfect vocals. Listening to all genres of music, country, Blues, because you know Ray Charles played it all. Country, blues, um, western, you know. So I listen to Aretha Franklin, Gladys Knight, Bobby Bland, B.B. King. So listening to all vocals, I helped train my vocals. Then, of course, later on in life, I did take some classes, stayed in the course and the choir. Well, who are some of the artists that you, you perform with? I perform with... Um, Denise LaSalle, Bobby Bland, Marvin Cease, uh, Bobby Womack, um, Atlantic Star, with the help of Morris Brown um, Agency at the time, and um, Lakeside, different artists. I understand that you had a uh, song out that didn't do well uh, a few years back. Uh, Oh, tell us a little bit about that song. I understand the DJ played a lot in the Southeast and in Atlanta as well. Called uh, Home Record. Could you tell us a little bit about Home Record? Right, Home Record was uh, on um, one album um, that was uh, called uh, Sanctuary with uh, Magic Mushroom, and then we removed it from there and put it on. Our, you don't have to be sad to sing the blues. And now it's on Shirley Diamond herself album. You don't have to be sad to sing the blues. Um, Magic Mushroom Inc. I was with them for about 13 years. Now, Shirley, I understand that uh, you have a new project that you're working on. Uh, and one of the greatest songwriters of the blues with R&B, Mr. Harvey Skill. Can you tell us what it's like working with Harvey Skill? Right love you, I understand that you Tell us about that. Well, Harvey Skill is, is a genius in music and writing. You know, he was the first black to get the platinum uh, writing. Um, uh, genre in blues uh, for um, Johnny Taylor, Disco Lady. So he's big time in Milwaukee and California and um, yeah, Harvey Scales and Frank Lovejoy. He, he was in the music, been in the music industry uh, for years. Coach, tell us a little bit about that song. Are you setting me up, and how can people get that song? Well, Are You Setting Me Up was written by Harvey Scales. And it's gonna be um, in your stores, in different places. I know it's in Macon, Dublin, all through the South. And uh, it's in your music record stores. And also you can get it on CD Baby, download it. Shirley Diamond, um, no, uh, cdbaby.com slash CD uh, Shirley Diamond, Are You Setting Me Up? Just 99 cents, come on people. I'm right here from Atlanta, Georgia. And uh, went to Mars Brown College. Well, Miss Diamond, I understand that you went to Mars Brown College with the Archer High School and your native Atlanta. Could you tell us a little bit about some of the fundraising thing? I understand you have a gigantic heart in terms of having people and doing charitable events. So could you please tell us a little bit about some of the charity events in relation to Right. Well, Mars Brown College is number one. Um, it's we try to help uplift our ABCUs, um, you know, black colleges in America. And Mars Brown is one of them that I help with fundraising. Um, for the uh, people who have renal failure, kidney failure, I help with the foundation for kidney failure. Also... Can you tell us about that kidney failure situation? That you were in California, you were in San Francisco somewhere? Fundraiser for, uh, Michael Jones in California, in uh, San Francisco, California. His name is Michael Jones. He's one of the promoters for uh, R&B and blues genre. And uh, he had to have a um, lung transplant. So that's when I helped uh, raise, raise about 20 grand for Michael Jones. So I went to California 
to help out with that. Can you tell us a, a little bit about uh, any of the tours or any of the shows that you've done other than the uh, few that we just mentioned? Yes, I did in Milwaukee. Oh, it was so crowded. It was wonderful. I got a chance to uh, take pictures with um, blues personality, uh, different blues personalities. And um, another, um, the um, fundraiser that I like to do, and I am working on. Once I complete my doctorate, it's in um, um, ending the bullying in elementary school and high school. So that's really something we need to work on. Even bullying in when people are driving, walking down the street. So I'm trying to complete my doctorate with that. Okay, another thing, Ms. Dunn, we'd like to know, uh, when can the public uh, Get your album. I understand that that hot is and you guys are working on the album now. So when do you expect that to be finished? What are some of the songs? Can you talk about anything about that? Oh yeah, we're completing an album, and I do have um, uh, one song that is really for all, and it comes from the mentality of Harvey Scales, and it helps me because I have a strong mother, and the name of that one is Strong Woman, and so I think that. That would go very well. Strong woman, uh, real man, because we all need real man in this world. A lot of them out there. Hey, no doubt. So let's keep it up. And for children, girls, boys, don't be set up. The name of my new song, you need to go out and get it. I am on uh, Facebook, Shirley Diamond Dudley, on Facebook. And I am on CD Baby, so you can download my songs and you can see my videos on Shirley Diamond ATL.com. That's my website. And my YouTube channel is Shirley Diamond. Are you setting me up? And thank you. Have a wonderful life.